Turf lawn grasses are the most popular ground cover plant in residential landscapes, but there are situations in which grass isn't a viable option, such as when the site conditions aren't conducive to fostering grass or when the commitment to maintaining a grass lawn isn't something you want to make. Some other options for living ground cover plants exist, which is good news. We've compiled a list of five low maintenance ground cover plants that won't try to take over. Number one, basket of gold. The adorable clusters of sunshine hued flowers on basket of gold are responsible for another common name for the plant, yellow alisum. Yellow alisum, or Orinia saxavillis, is the correct name for this plant. Sweet alisum is a different species. After it finishes blooming, or whenever it becomes too unruly for your tastes, the only real maintenance it requires is a good pruning. Can be planted outside year-round in zones four through seven. Number two, amethyst in snow. In ideal conditions, Amethyst in snow can spread and form a beautiful flowering ground cover. When used in this manner, the plant requires very little attention and care. Amethyst in snow spreads rapidly in sunny conditions, but can be easily managed by removing individual stems. Plants in this group can survive winters in USDA plant hardiness, zones three through seven. Number three, creeping phlox. Creeping phlox is a low plant with bright spring flowers that can be found covering a slope or retaining wall. It is a springtime superstar despite being largely overlooked the rest of the year. Water it during dry spells and give it a haircut at the end of its blossoming period. Although it can spread in favorable conditions, it can be easily removed and prevented from taking over its proper habitat. Thrive anywhere from zone three to nine. Number four, Angelina sedum. Its golden hair flowers can be a nuisance if they take over an area, but the plant itself does not spread too rapidly. It is simple to start new Angelina sedum plants from cuttings or by rooting cuttings, making it a fast and efficient way to cover a large area with its succulent foliage. Conversely, it requires periodic cutting back of the stems which can self-root if they fall off naturally to keep it under control. Hardy from USDA zones five through eight. Number five, sweet woodruff. Sweet woodruff is a good low maintenance ground cover if you meet a few requirements. Growing this aromatic herb in wet soil can lead to uncontrolled spread, making it an invasive plant. Even in the acidic soil found in the shade of towering pines, it does well. Its maximum height is 12 inches and its spread is 18 inches. Its spring flowers are white. Planting it in dry soil and not watering it helps keep it in check because it prefers moist environments. Hardy from USDA zones four through eight. Well, thanks for watching video from Catchy Garden. Don't forget to click like and subscribe button to always support our channel. You can also turn on the notification bell to get the latest videos from us. We'll see you in the next videos.